Welcome back, everyone, to episode two of No Man's Land, my uh, Farm to Survive series. So um, we're not going to do any farming probably today. Well, we might do some farming today. We'll see how far we get. I am just bringing you guys back in just for a quick minute to let you know. I'm going to start clearing some of these trees away off camera. Um, I think if we go into the build menu here, that we'll be able to see a little bit better. I know I can go into flight mode, but this works pretty well, too. I think I want to clear this whole patch right through here. I want to clear this, this chunk of them right through here. I'll leave the ones behind the house for now. Then I think... I'll probably leave those ones. I want to do something different than what I did before. So I think I want to clear this area here and farm along here. I didn't do that last time. So um, I cleared this area out here. But yeah, I think we'll start by kind of right up against the house here. I'm going to clear all these trees. So I'm going to work on that. It'll probably take me a couple hours to get that done, if not longer. But uh, we'll see. I'll let you guys know how long it took. But maybe it won't take that long. But yeah, I'm going to do some of that stuff off camera. Then I'll bring you guys back in after we have a little bit of progress here. And we'll see kind of if we can make a little bit more money for us. But yeah, I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, I just sold my ninth load. We're up to 18 grand. I have a running total. I've been writing down the amount I get for each load. My best load was 2,300 bucks, but my average load is probably about $1,100. But anyhow, <laughs> we're making progress. We have a lot more trees to go on there. So I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better about money just because even though we're not making a lot per load, some of these trees, one tree took like five loads because so big. It took like five loads to get rid of. So um, I am feeling a little bit better. I do want to keep an eye out for a sale uh, for a tractor of some kind because I would like to. We can't, since we can't do a whole lot right now on the farm, uh, we're waiting for time to plant, which I don't know what that's going to look like because if we think about it, I mean, as far as, I mean, we can even go to starter packs just to take a look at, uh, I mean, grain's probably going to be our best bet. That's that, that the cheapest? That's seriously the cheapest harvester in game. No, there's the Nova. The Nova's a little cheaper. And the Rossel Mash here. That's probably going to be our starting harvester just to get us something cheap. I mean, but 75000 We still got to be able to afford that. And then uh, it's 100 grand for that and the, the header for it. But uh, yeah, if we don't get a sale tractor wise, I mean, that would be a great, that's actually a great starting tractor. Um, just to get us rolling a little bit on the farm. That'd be super awesome to use that. Actually, that would work really well for us. Um, we can do GPS for an extra 15 grand. We're not going to do that. I do have it installed, but we're not going to do it on there. Um, but the problem is I would like to get a tractor that had a front loader. Um, it's, what's the cheapest one that does a front loader? 49.5. Okay, the Zeter. Yeah, 49.5. Uh, this one's not, this one's only $1,000 more. What, uh, 117 horsepower. So 76 though at the base model. That's 82 at the base model, but that one goes higher. That one goes only up to 100. How much is this with 100 horsepower? Holy cow, that's way more money. Um, we can bump it up a little bit if we want. We'd probably end up going with it in the standard like this, and then we need a front loader attachment. Because I'd like to be able to do that, which I know that bumps the price up even more. We can't take out a loan. Um, cause I think we would make more money if we actually lifted up the logs and loaded them onto a trailer, which there was a trailer mod. And I think this is the one that they were talking about. Go down to forestry equipment. I think it's, uh, um, this guy right here, this little wood trailer, that would be a really cheap $3,800 wood trailer to get us just going. Um, if we could do that and get a tractor to pull it and load it. Um, that would help us out tremendously. But right now we just, I mean, honestly, I think we have to wait for a tractor to be like a really good sale in here. Um, so if we look at those, since we do have seasons running here, let's go up to our seasons calendar here. So we're in August. So yeah, we could plant canola. I think our best bet might be soy as far as, well, with my testing, soy is going to be the best as far as a grain crop to plant uh, with the testing I did um, to find out the most profitable crop. So at least as far as doing a grain crop, that is. Now, it's not the most profitable one, but for a grain crop, that is the best one. Now, that is an option. We can plant that um, and try to get that going and wait till there. Or we actually could do grass as harvestable all season once we get it planted. I mean, we have some grass now, but what, I mean, get out of there. What is our cheapest uh, grass equipment going to look like? If we just, I mean, if we're selling it for, we probably need to bale it and wrap it, I think is what we'd need to do. So... It's not a bill wrapper, is it? No, it's not. Um, the cheapest bill wrapper is this guy. It's 78.5. That's so much money. We also could lease it after we get a good setup going. Um, it only does 125 centimeter bales. That one will do 150 wrapped, but that that's not a big deal as far as... Now, if we... We can't do salvage bales with this, though. 
Um, 48 grand is the cheapest baler. What about a wrapper? What's a cheap wrapper gonna run us? 22? 22 and 48 is gonna put us at 60, 70 grand. So that's actually a little bit cheaper than this. I know it's not the best setup, but that might be a little bit cheaper. And it kind of depends. If we get a wrapper or something on sale, I'm honestly banking on us getting a sale, guys. That's honestly what it kind of comes down to. I think that's our only hope. Um, we just gotta kind of see what comes up. But then again, we also gotta look at a mower. 12 grand for the cheapest. Is that the cheapest actually? Yeah, 12 grand for the cheapest mower. Everything looks so much more expensive. Now we could lease stuff. Um, 612 to lease that. So I mean, let me let me just, let's take a note while you guys are here. Uh, so if we add 612 to lease that, and then we, we, uh, we might as well just lease the Baylor wrapper combo just so it makes our life a little bit easier. What would be the lease cost on this bad boy? If we lease that, that'd be four, 4,003. Um, so how much if that, we're looking at what, 4,600 bucks. So 4,600 bucks, how much silage would we have to do to pay for that? Um, we're in hard economy mode. <laughs> Gosh, look at those prices. Oh man. Oh, they're not even buying it right now. That's right. What we'll get that fixed. That's fixed with the update. So they will I don't know what they, they're selling it for that. It's gotta be a little bit more. I actually have and it's opened up over here. I have a chart that'll tell us on hard economy what we're gonna sell silage for. Um where's it at on here? Look down my list. Uh there it is. Uh okay, so 225 is a good price on hard economy. So if we get 200 per thousand liters, um, well shoot, 4,600 divided by 200. Um, the first 23,000 liters that we got would go to paying for our lease, our lease cost, but that would give us something to do. Now, to be fair, we do have a lot of grass. So we can mow all this through here. I love the deer on no man, so they actually really fit in really well in here. Uh, but we can go, all, all of this is all ours. So we can mow all of this. So we actually would do really well on that. Um, now a windrower, yeah, all the way up to, we're still not even at the edge yet, all the way up to here. So we have this, we have a huge expanse of grass. So I think that's actually probably a good way to go about it to do some silage bales. Um, we still would need, oh gosh, we still need a tractor. So once we get a tractor, I think that, but how much would it cost for us to lease a windrower as well? Just to help us out a little bit, where are the windrowers at? Um, it's 2.5 meters, those aren't gonna matter at all for as far as helping us. 4.7 would help. 8.4, 8.4, what's the, yeah, as long as we get into, I mean, what's the least cost on this? Okay, a thousand, extra thousand bucks, so an extra 5,000 liters would go to waste to be able to windrow it and save us a boatload of time. Uh, that's worth it, in my opinion, since we can't hire workers. Uh, well, how much would this one be to lease? Uh, 413, I mean, I'd almost rather pay the extra 600 and get a little bit more. This one's gonna be double that, this is gonna be like two grand. Yeah, two grand to do, what is that, 9.7 versus, 8.4, that's not gonna help us at all. So yeah, we do this one probably, we lease that bad boy. Um, but yeah, if we lease some equipment, I think that might be our best way to go about it. So yeah, honestly, this episode, I am gonna, I'm still gonna do some more forestry stuff here. Um, yeah, I'm still gonna do some more forestry stuff off camera. I think what we need to do is try to get a tractor this episode. I think that's probably gonna be our main goal. So if we get a tractor, we wanna, hopefully wanna come up for sale that is, has the ability to use a front loader. Cause if we can do that, we can start actually, I think really doing well on the farm. Um, but right now money is just super tight for us. So uh, anyhow, okay. On that note, I will continue to log a little bit. I will bring you guys back in. I might even have a couple days go by. I might see if something comes up, but I'll probably do some more logging. Obviously time isn't really the problem is we can, we can, there's no rules as far as my challenge goes, as far as adjusting the time. I can adjust it however I want. I'm not gonna go any lower than one times. So I'm not gonna go down to, I know you can go, 0.5 times, but I'm not gonna go any lower than one times. So yeah, and I have not read all the comments, by the way, yet for the first episode. I will read through those probably before I bring you guys back in. So yeah, I'm gonna put a break in here. I might do a little bit more forestry. I might bring you guys back in a couple months from now, uh, but we'll see. Um, we just gotta kind of hope for a good sale to come up. And it's okay, because there's two day months. So yeah, two day months, so six day seasons. So we have a little extra time. It's not like if we look at our, you know, I mean, and honestly, if we're doing grass, it doesn't matter anyways. Um, I'm not even gonna worry about planting it right now in our field. I'm just gonna ignore our field for now um, and work on doing the, some of that for some money up front. Um, that might work out. Well, the other option too, the other option too is if we do a manual, like if we do a bunker cell, I'll look into some of the different options and see. But anyhow, I will bring you guys back in here in just a little bit. All right, welcome back everyone. So we got this going on. 
Um, I can explain. This is not stuff that we own. Our money has not gone down that much. It's not stuff well that we... So, okay. Let me just go through it here. <laughs> so, um, there's nothing in sales about that. I really want that tractor. That's a really good deal on it. And it doesn't do it front loader, but there's no way we're going to be able to afford that. And that's way too good of a starting tractor for us. Uh, but anyhow, so I purchased the log trailer. So if we go to actually, does that all show up? Yeah, yeah, because we can look at least equipment down here. So yeah, I purchased this guy because it's only 3800 bucks. Now it is absolutely massive compared to what I thought it was going to be. Um, that is like th 10 times bigger than I thought. Maybe not quite that much per se, but it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, then I leased this guy um, for $1,550, leased this guy for 150 bucks, and leased this guy for the back of the, whatchamacallit, our front loader here for 100 bucks. So we're gonna make our money back. When I bought all this stuff, we had like 19 grand, so, but I'm, I'm pretty confident we can make, make it back, especially with all that. Now I am curious, oh, we're hitting a stump there. Um, oh, geez. Boy. This might be a bit of a struggle to move logs around, but we'll try it. Uh, it may not work very well. Probably should turn it off for a second because otherwise our leasing costs are going to go up. Now, by the way, too, I don't know if you need this last update. What if you go to actually like lease something? I just go here and I lease this. It actually shows me all the information that we needed that we didn't get before. So that is good that we have that. Now, okay, so... Yeah, we did talk about silage. I, I started reading through some of the comments that you guys left. You guys, by the way, have so many good business ideas and subscriber contract ideas. I only made it through like a quarter or a third of the comments because there's like 100 and there's almost 200 comments, I think, or something like that um, on the first video, which is awesome, by the way. Let's keep those coming. Um, but yeah, so some of you guys said that you didn't think silage would be... Uh, are, uh, people were back and forth in the comments on whether or not I should do silage. Um, even though I know I just talked about that in this one and I haven't really talked about it because uh, it seems like it might be well too easy quote unquote which is it, it's it's kind of a fair point yeah it is a little bit it's a good way to make money once you get a good operation but we're going to be doing it very slowly and uh, it's it's going to take us a while to get it and if we go actually into the menu here and go up to how much we're actually going to make off our silage it's not going to be a lot you can see there it's not we're not going to be making you know a fortune off our silage I mean um, that's a decent amount to be fair but I feel like these prices are these prices high everything's still yeah hard economy okay but yeah now i did install oh no it's not under here it's under skid steer loaders of this guy and i did think about like buying one of these guys to do it but i don't think there's a good log fork for them and i think they only take their advent stuff but they also have mowers and stuff like that for those but anyhow I, well if you guys in here let's see if we can get our first log loaded on this thing let's drop this bad boy down We'll see how this goes. We'll put a really heavy log. I should just have a different angle, but that's fine. We'll see where this falls. And actually, I do am curious if the uh, truck... Actually, that wasn't bad. I'll take that. We'll just go uh, trim this real quick. And I am curious to see if our truck will actually pull our log trailer. Um, that thing is really slow. The little skids here is 12 miles an hour all the way down to the farm. So especially since we're paying leasing costs on it, I'd rather not, you know, do that. And it's just going to cost us some time. So there we go. Okay. So let's grab the truck. I think the truck will actually work a little better because the truck is a little bit bigger than our skid steer, to be fair. You can put that tailgate up there. What is the license plate on this? Because I didn't pick it. Is it just something random? Probably. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of comments. And I'm going to go over some of those comments as we go. Now, as far as subscriber contracts businesses go i'm not going to respond to the comment saying hey i'm going to do this i'm just going to write them all down on the big oh it doesn't even hook up well that answers that question so that doesn't even hook up though it does look like a more appropriate size vehicle still this is too small for sure but um let's park you out of the way but yeah so you won't know if i'm going to do it until i do it and some of it might be really delayed until i do it but we just got to kind of yeah we'll make it work you know um let's try to cut because I want to get bigger stuff. Um, and I will, what I'll probably do is we'll get a couple of these loaded up. Let's see how that one did. Or how big that one is. Or if we can lift that. Yeah, we're going to, this is just, might just be bad. Why is that in the air like that? I feel like it shouldn't go in the air like that. Because of that weight? 
yep it is um i guess we'll just have to make make do with what we got all right because we're definitely gonna need that weight i wonder if the other one would have been better there's a couple in that mod pack all right let's see if we can actually get this log up i haven't tried to do any anything like oh come on jeez louise it's gonna drive me crazy all right well, let's try it without the weight because the weight is really messing us up here Oh boy. Oh yeah. Well, let's get that weight back on and see if we can even lift this log. Why is that? All of a sudden that's that weight has like gained weight somehow. I didn't have any issues. Oh, driving back. I had the trailer. I don't know if that Wow, oh, why is this so <laughs> not working? It worked fine before. It's like it's gained weight somehow. There we go. Grab it back on. Well, I think it has two. I wonder if I hooked it up. No, that's the side I hooked it up to. Hmm. Very strange. But yeah, it's definitely. Well, I guess if I put it out a little bit further. Okay, that gets us back kind of on the ground. You guys can see all my struggles. This is this is how we how we do it here. Oh, nope, don't do that. That other tree's gonna help us a lot. I mean, this hopefully will be worth a lot more money. I can't believe we're lifting this log. <laughs> okay, now it's perfect with the weight. Is this log the appropriate? How much does log actually weigh? Oh, 1.5 tons. Well, actually, that matches our weight. Our weight is 1.5 tons, which actually is quite ridiculous, but this should not work. This should not work. There's nothing about this that should work. <laughs> I hope this thing can actually pull this. We're not going to be able to put that much in it, I don't think. Yep, there we go. Just let it go. Yep, see, now we're back on the ground. Gosh. I don't think we can go any uh, smaller with the weight either. I think that's the smallest it goes. As far as, because the weight I'm using, just to show you. So I don't think any of these will hook up to the back of this. I think it has to be one of these ones designed for like the telehandlers. This is one point or 1500 kilograms, which this is the one I'm using right now. And that's the lowest capacity to go. You can go way bigger, but you can't go smaller. Ooh boy, but okay. Well, you know, we just gotta get that out right there when we're driving around right there. That seems to be a good spot for it. it does okay in that position. Top out, let's uh, cut another one. And see if we can get this loaded up here. We might just put this... Oh, darn it. It does that with the log sometimes still. Really irritates me. Ah, I hate it when it does that. I hate that glitch so much. That glitch irritates me so much. Oh, let's get it back out again. Get steer in here. There we go. Yeah, I hate it when it does that. Drives me crazy. I can't believe how this is handling with these massive logs. <laughs> this is wild. Oop. We barely can get over like the We need to get we need to get further over on that for sure. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> this might be a little bit mad. I don't actually know if this thing has a... That should work. That's close enough. I don't actually know if this thing has... Oh, it does. Thank goodness. I didn't even think about that. Can we... I got an idea here. Well, if we go under it... Use it to push us down. We should be able to back up. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, those guys, we're just not going to worry about right now. I will deal with those later. Now, I think we can probably drop the weight off to do our towing aspect of this, at least. Back up. How fast is this going to go? Actually, we're doing pretty good. 
10 miles an hour? Oh, we're gonna get up to 12. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Okay, so we can tow that. Well, tell you what, I'm gonna finish loading this up then. I'm gonna put some more on it. I will get it over to the sawmill and I'll bring you back in. We'll probably end up wrapping the episode about there, but uh, yeah, I'll get this loaded up with some more logs and we'll get her down there. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, we're coming up on the, the biomass heating plant or whatever this thing is. And uh, this is our load here, which is about two and a half-ish full trees or the big trees, two and a half of the big trees. Obviously, it's not three full ones just because that one kind of did its weird explodey thing. And that's about the height of the forks that I can get them up to. But, uh, oh, this is going to be, oh, so we need to hopefully get, we need to get a good chunk of cash for this. Oh, boy. It's hard to stop that much load. All right. So to cover our cost, if you include the purchase of the trailer, the trailer is 3800 bucks, which I know we'll have it forever now. Uh, plus the 1550 plus the 150 plus the 50 and this is if we stay under an hour we're at 5550 for a total so probably about 5600 ish oh moment of truth no way well folks no way we have paid it off wow well if we keep that up keep that up if we do a couple more loads like that with this, which this is at 0.4 hours, so yeah, it's at 0.4 hours. So uh, if we are able to do a couple more loads like that, we will be doing a okay. 10 grand a pop. I mean, this is honestly, it was kind of a pain to do it with this. Uh, it took a little while, but that's, that's a good source of income for us. That would be great because then we can actually buy a tractor with a front loader. And that would be awesome. Now, one thing I did think about, too, since we have all of our stumps, and I think this would be a good idea, since they create fields as well, we could use a, where are they at? Mulcher. These guys right here will also scrape and all of crushed crops. These are just, just crop stubble. St I can't talk. Just the crop stubble ones. Let's go down to, where's the forestry ones? Forestry. This guy right here will remove stumps and bushes and whatnot. Well, both these will. And that one will also create fields and we're about to hit a tree. Uh, so I think that might be, the, I know it's $24,000, but for when we start doing fields, that might be a good way to go about it. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments though. I'm, I'm definitely curious. That's just too nice of a tractor for us. The cheapest other tractor, even with mods installed. I don't know, I have any, what do I have for mods in here? Yeah, that guy, which that guy can't do a, Front loader attachment. Okay, we're going. We're, we're straight for a while. Now, there are going to be some cool mods coming out soon. But uh, that one can do front loader. Ninety-seven grand front loader. That one can. I'm sure that one can't. This one can you? No, that one can't. Oh, those are. I love those two tractors there. I love the the Case H seventy two hundred Pros. This is one of my favorite tractors because they have such a good horsepower rating for. Um, their cost, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. I think we are gonna try to pick up a tractor on sale Hopefully we can get a tractor for around 40,000 or less. That'd be the goal So whatever tractor that might be we might end up buying it Even if it doesn't have a front loader, it would just be really nice if we could get our front loader So I know I said this episode I wanted to get our first tractor, but I think if we just keep chipping away at getting some logging done um, We will do fairly well for ourselves um, and as far as I mean if I go into the build mode here, which I know he's still cruising along but he's he's got a long straight stretch ahead of him until he hits those trees um let's get cooking a little bit so we've cleared out a few trees in here that's all we've really done so we'll get these ones here and that'll clear that out i'll leave most of these back here i might trim off i actually might take these ones off. well i'll leave these trees alone then i think i want to start cooking through these trees i think that's kind of our plan yeah we're not going to do well here if we don't start driving but uh, yeah, that's the plan. But anyhow, guys, I think we'll wrap up the episode there. I think that's about a good length. Um, I'm going to try to do three episodes a week. And once we start getting a little bit further along, I'll probably start adding something like a, either a subscriber contract or a business every episode, maybe multiple ones. Um, I haven't added any yet because, I, again, I want it to be part of the storyline. You know, I know you guys, and you guys came up with some really good stories, but I don't want to be like, oh, a factory just opened up and there's no one here. I know I kind of did that with the biomass heating plant. I know the updated version of No Man's Land has a sawmill on it so i yeah we have to be able to sell the logs obviously 
Um, that's our source of income at the beginning. So we have to, we have to be able to do that. That's that's I think reasonable. Um, but yeah, so we'll keep going. We'll keep cooking along. But other than the guy that owns our biomass seeding plant here, that's just us over here. So um, and I'll take care of off camera. I'll take care of getting these guys here squared away these weird ones that did their weird little thing there but anyhow if you guys enjoyed drop a like down below if you haven't already hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the farmer cop channel turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos i may post this has been farmer cop thank you guys so much for coming and watching